hi everyone this is Christiana and welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to drop a pattern of a fleece mitten for this pattern you need your thumb circumference I'm going to use my hand to drop this pattern so my thumb circumference is six centimeters first you draw a vertical line on a paper and this line is your guideline then you place your hand on the paper with your pointing finger straight with the guideline, your arm straight with the guideline as well, your thumb spread out wide, and your fingers are placed away from each other. After that, you then trace out your hand and your upper arm. Now I'm going to mark the position of my wrist, and when I do that, I make sure that I mark exactly where my wrist bone is placed on the tracing. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to place my hand back on the tracing and then I then mark the position of my wrist bone. Alright, so this is the position of my wrist. So here I'm just noting W for wrist. And then I measure 0.7 centimeters from the wrist downward. And then I draw a horizontal line perpendicular to the guideline through the new point. Now I'm going to draw a horizontal line at the top of the highest finger. And when I draw this line, I have to make sure that it's parallel to this line. And to make sure that it's parallel to this line at the bottom, I'm going to measure from this line at the bottom to the top of the highest finger. So this is 18.8 centimeters. So now again, I'm going to measure 18.8 centimeters on the side from this line. Now I'm just going to go ahead and draw a straight line through these two points. Now I'm going to draw a vertical line on the side of the small finger. And when I draw this line, I have to make sure that it's parallel to the guideline. In order for me to make sure that it's parallel to the guideline, I'm going to measure from the guideline to the side of the small finger. And this is 8.8 .8 centimeters. So also, I'm going to measure 8.8 .8 centimeters from the guideline on the side. And then I then draw the line through the point and the side of the small finger. Now I'm going to determine the center of the guideline in this line. So the distance between them is 8.8 .8 centimeters and half that is 4.4 centimeters. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and draw in the center line. Now from this line, I'm going to draw in the cuff of the mitten. And the cuff of the mitten is 8.3 centimeters long. Okay, so what I have here is already the body of the mitten. So this is the mitten and this is the cuff of the mitten. Now I'm going to add movement allowance to the sides of the mitten. On this line, I'm going to add 2cm movement allowance. On this line as well, I'm adding a 2cm movement allowance. And also on the top, I'm adding 2 cm movement allowance from this line. Alright, so at the bottom here, I'm just going to indicate CL for calf length. Now I'm going to draw up the curve of the mitten. And for that, I'm going to measure the distance from the center line to the sideline of the mitten. Okay, so the distance between them is 6.4 centimeters. 
Now I'm going to measure 6.4 centimeters from this line inward. And then I'm drawing a horizontal line through the points. So here, this is the center of the circle. So on the center, that's where I place the compass. And the pencil, I place it on the last line. And then I draw in the circle. Now I'm going to finish drawing up the cuff of the mitten. I want the cuff to take up this shape. So for that, I'm going to measure 1.5 centimeters from this line outward I'm also measuring 1.5 centimeters from this line outward and then from this point I draw a line to this point here and I also do the same to the other side I draw a line from this point to this point here Now, because the cuff is tilted on the sides, the edges of the cuff have to be tilted as well. And to determine how tilted they have to go, I'm going to take the length of the cuff, which is 8.3 centimeters, and then I'm going to measure it on the tilted edges of the cuff. Eight point three centimeters is until there. So now I'm going to draw a line from this point to this point. So I'm doing the same on this side. I'm measuring 8.3 centimeters. Then from this point to this point, I draw a straight line. After drawing up the cuff, now I'm adding a hem to the cuff. And the hem is going to be 1 centimeter. First I extend this line out a little bit and then I also extend this line out a little bit. After that I measure 1 cm from the cuff length line. And then I then draw in the hem line. On the sides the hem is tilted. So first I'm going to erase these lines at the bottom on the sides. And then I then measure one centimeters from the tilted lines on the sides. After that I draw in the hem by joining this point to this line. And then I then draw a straight line from this point to this line, making sure that the line is parallel to this line here. So here the hem is drawn up and these corners on the sides, you curve them up for a curvy finish. Now I'm going to draw in the thumb position lines. So I'll start off by drawing a horizontal line from this point of the thumb, which is the top of the thumb. And when I draw it in, I draw it parallel to the line at the bottom here. After that, I mark the position of the base of my thumb, which is right here below this bone. And then I draw a horizontal line through the base of the thumb point, making sure that it's parallel to this line between the cuff and the mitten. So these are the two thumb position lines. The line at the bottom is the base of the thumb line. So here I'm just indicating BT. And the line on top is the top of the thumb line. So here I'm just marking TT for top of the thumb. Also from this line to the top, this is the mitten. And from this line to the cuff length line here, this is the cuff of the mitten. 
all right so the drafting of this pattern is done and i'm going to go ahead and cut it out this pattern is the pattern of the back side of the mitten but this pattern is not the final pattern this one is just a draft and i'm going to use this draft to draw up the final pattern now i'm going to draw the thumb pattern and for that i need to draw a vertical line on the paper and then i grab a new piece of paper and on this paper i'm going to calculate how wide my thumb pattern is going to be so first i take my thumb circumference which is six centimeters and then to the six centimeters i add movement allowance and so i'm going to add movement allowance of 4.8 centimeters this 4.8 centimeters is a comfortable movement allowance for a basic mitten So they are equal to 10.8 centimeters. Alright, so this 10.8 centimeters is the circumference of my thumb pattern. So to draw up the pattern, I'm going to use half the 10.8 centimeters. So I'm going to divide 10.8 centimeters divided by 2 is equal to 5.4 centimeters. Alright, so the 5.4 centimeters is the width of my thumb pattern. Alright, so back to the pattern paper. I'm going to measure the width of the thumb pattern, which is 5.4 centimeters from this line inward. And then I draw a line through the points. Now from this line, I'm going to draw a 1 centimeter line to the inside. And then from this line, I'm going to measure my flat thumb width, which is 2 centimeters. And here you need to use your flat thumb width. This is how you get your flat thumb width. You place your thumb on a piece of paper sideways. And then you trace around it. After that, you measure how wide your thumb is on this area. From here to here. As you can see, my width is 2 centimeters. And so this 2 centimeters, I'm measuring it from this line. And then I'm drawing a 2 centimeter line. Now I'm going to trace my thumb. And my thumb, I trace it within this area. Between these two lines. This area is the area of my 2 centimeters thumb width. So I place the thumb between the two lines sideways and then I start to trace from the line behind the thumb. After tracing, now I'm going to draw a horizontal line from this bottom curve of the thumb. And when I draw this line, I make sure that it's 90 degree to the vertical lines. Now I'm going to draw a horizontal line on the top of the thumb. And when I draw this line, I make sure that it's 90 degree to the vertical lines. After drawing the line on top of the thumb, now I'm going to increase the height of the thumb by 1.5 centimeters. Okay, so now I'm going to draw up the thumb pattern. The pattern is going to run from this line, and then it will go through this point around the tracing. And then in this corner at the bottom. Alright, so after that, now from this horizontal line to the bottom. I'm going to draw up the rest of the thumb pattern. So here I'm going to be using the back pattern to determine what I have to draw next. Alright, so from this line over here, I'm going to measure the distance to the cuff of the mitten. So this line here 
is the same as this line on the back pattern. That's because it goes through the curve between the thumb and the pointing finger on both patterns. So this line is the top of the thumb line. And so on the back pattern, from the top of the thumb line, I'm going to measure the distance to the line between the cuff and the mitten. So the distance is 7.8 centimeters. So the 7.8 centimeters, I'm going to measure it on the thumb pattern from the TT line. And then I draw a line through my measurement. Now I'm going to draw the cuff of the mitten. So the cuff of the mitten starts from this line on the back pattern to this line which is the cuff length line and the distance between them is 8.3 centimeters. So now I'm going to measure 8.3 centimeters on the thumb pattern from this line. Here I've drawn the 8.3 centimeter line and I've extended it a little bit. That's because from this line, I'm going to draw the extended length of the cuff. On the back pattern, the extended length is from this point to this point and that is 1.5 centimeters. So on the thumb pattern, I'm going to measure 1.5 centimeters on the extension as well. Now from this point, I'm going to draw a line to this point. Now I'm drawing up the hem and the hem is 1 cm. Just like I've done on the back pattern, I'm going to make this line 8.3 cm, which is the cuff length. From this point that I just measured, I'm going to draw a straight line to this point. And then I erase the straight line at the bottom of it. After that, I continue to draw the hem from this line. So the pattern is done. Now I'm going to write the indications in and then I'll cut out the pattern. So the thumb pattern is done, but this one is not the final pattern, this one is just a draft. So I'm going to be using this draft to draw up the final pattern. Now on a new sheet, I'm going to draw up the front pattern of the mitten. So for that I need to trace the back pattern. Now I'm popping holes through this point and this point of the back pattern to make it traceable. So for tracing, I'm going to mark the center of the mitten, the top of the thumb, and the base of the thumb line. I'm also marking the line between the cuff and the mitten. And then I mark the position of the hem also. After that, I trace out the pattern. Now I'm going to draw in the center line. And then I draw in the top of the thumb and the base of the thumb line. These two lines, I'm only drawing them until the center line.
now I'm going to draw up the thumb hole and for that I need the thumb pattern so the width of the thumb pattern which is from this end to this end is what I'm measuring on this pattern from the edge of the pattern to the inside and that is 5.4 centimeters now I'm drawing up the 5.4 centimeter vertical line now this corner of the thumb hole has to be a curve and so for that I need to measure the width of the base of my thumb so here you need the flat width of the base of your thumb so this is the base of the thumb and so I'm going to measure from this end to this end of the base of the thumb so the flat width of the base of my thumb is 3 centimeters now from this line here towards the inside I'm going to measure half the width of the base of my thumb the width of the base of my thumb is 3 centimeters so 3 centimeters divided by 2 is 1.5 centimeters so here I'm just measuring 1.5 centimeters towards the inside of the thumb hole and then I draw up the line between the TT and the BT lines after that I'm going to determine the center of the distance between the TT and the BT line the distance between the TT and the BT line is 6.1 centimeters and half that is 3.05 centimeters okay so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and measure 3.05 centimeters between the two lines and then I draw up the line in the area of the thumb hole alright so within this block from this point to this point here is where I'm going to draw the curve of the thumb hole as you can see here this is the thumb hole and the front pattern is done this is not the final pattern this is a draft that I'm going to use to draw up the final front pattern alright so now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out now back to the thumb pattern I'm going to draw up the pattern of the inner part of the thumb which is this part so for that I'm going to trace the thumb pattern from the top to the line the calf begins so first I mark this line on this side here and then I start tracing after that I draw in the line from the point to the corner now I'm going to draw in the curve of the thumb hole and I'm going to trace it from the front pattern so I'm going to place this line and this point against this line and this point here and then this line I'll place it against this line and then I trace the curve alright so I'm just going to erase this line and this other lines that I don't need there anymore and then the pattern is done so this pattern here is not a draft this pattern is the final sketch of this pattern piece so I'm going to go ahead and add zim allowance all around it and the zim allowance is 0.5 centimeters so I've added zim allowance all around the inner thumb pattern piece now I'm going to go ahead and cut it out so I'm going to write indications now and this side is the left thumb pattern piece
while its reverse side is the right thumb pattern piece. Now I'm going to draw up the final thumb pattern. So this pattern here is not the final thumb pattern. That's because it's got these draft lines on it, which I don't want on the final pattern. So I prefer to trace it on a clean paper. So I start off by popping a hole through this corner of the cuff length line. And then I mark this line between the cuff and the thumb. And then I also mark the cuff length line. After that I trace the pattern. Now I'm adding zim allowance on the sides of the pattern and the zim allowance is 0.5 centimeters. This side of the pattern is the right thumb pattern block. And this line is going to have an elastic running through it, so I'm just going to indicate elastic here. Now I'm going to pop holes through the hem line and the elastic line to transfer them to the reverse side of the pattern. So the reverse side of this pattern is the left thumb pattern block. Now I'm going to draw up the final back pattern. This one here also it's not the final pattern because it's got draft lines on it which I don't want on the final pattern. So I'm going to trace it on a new sheet. So I'm going to mark the center line. The line between the cuff and the mitten and then the hem line. After that I trace the pattern. So I have drawn the lines in, now I'm going to add zim allowance of 0.5 cm on the sides of the pattern. So this pattern is the back pattern of the mitten. And this line here, this is the line where the elastic is going to run. So I'm just going to indicate elastic here. Now I'm going to draw up the final front pattern. So first I start off by popping a hole through this point to make it traceable. And then I mark the center line, the line between the cuff and the mitten, and the hem line.
after that I then trace the pattern Alright, so now I'm going to add zim allowance of 0.5 cm on the sides of the pattern. And then I cut the pattern out. So this side of the pattern is the right hand front pattern. The elastic is going to run on this line here. Now I'm going to transfer the center line the elastic line and the hem line to the reverse side of the pattern So this side of the pattern is the left hand front pattern. Alright, so this mitten pattern is finished to be drafted and up next is the sewing tutorial of this pattern. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you, bye.